Look at the size of that ring terminal. It's as big around as the round piece on the battery. But the hole leaves so much to be desired. It's fused on the negative and it's fused on the positive. Comes with 30 amp fuses on this little bitty wire. This is a 16 gauge wire with 105 degree Celsius insulation. We're using the middle table here because it's up to three conductors in a sheath, a conduit, or a bundle. On the left right here, the max is 18 amps. That's not in an engine room. On the right, in the engine room, the max is 15 amps. So as you can see, having a 30 amp fuse is nearly double the best case scenario and is double the worst case scenario of in the engine room. The ABYC also says that ungrounded should have overcurrent devices. At least Minn Kota got the seven inches right. This is ridiculous. Minn Kota, stick to trolling motors. Here's why overfusing matters. If there's a short somewhere between the battery post and the other end of that wire, which is on the actual battery charger itself, that fuse will allow 30 amps of current to flow through it. This wire will melt long before that. This insulation will heat up and begin to melt and it will either just smoke really bad, which that's best case, or worst case, it will catch fire. This is not where you want heat. This is a fuel tank right here. This is a terrible, terrible thing to do. If you have one of these Minkotas, which I've just installed this, I did not buy this, take the 30 amp fuse out and put a five or seven and a half amp I'm gonna swap this out to a five, verify it's not gonna blow. If it does, I'll go seven and a half amps on both sides. I might just change that ring terminal out for a properly sized one so that I get actual contact area and not add more heat right there. 